Okay, folks, so the Woodland Mills HM130 Max Portable Sawmill. Let me first say something about the shipping. The shipping was excellent. Uh, other than uh, minor, there's a couple minor things on it. Um, I, I, there's, no, there's no holes in it or anything, but it looks like... Yeah, it looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, so far, the experience with the shipping was excellent. They called the day before. There was like an... Uh, there was like a six week uh, back order because of all the mills they're selling because of the price of lumber is out of this world. And uh, that's where we're at with that. So uh, if you got uh, access um, to some tree trees and logs and, uh, and you're not afraid to uh, air dry your lumber and be able to uh, build things with green lumber which you can, you know, as long as you're not um, bringing it inside and screwing sheetrock to it and that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, you can let it air dry well after you've built it. So, there's that. Um, so, folks, this is a game changer for North Wind Garage. The whole premise on our name, North Wind Garage, there is no garage. <laughs> so, we, we have a little garage underneath... Uh, living quarters that we keep tools and stuff in but we can't really work out of there so um, eventually eventually might be a couple three years down the road we plan on building a garage with this so with that said let's get to opening this thing up and see what we got so I came with I had to pay extra for the track extensions uh, six foot track extensions that was this is on top and uh, I should have got a box of blades with it and the lady said uh, that I talked to at Woodland Mills said that they have all the, that stuff in stock so there's not a wait time on that stuff but when you ship if you can afford it to get all your goodies with the first shipment the shipping will cover it all so you don't pay any shipping other than the, ri the original shipping for the whole mill uh, so if you if you have parts, spare parts, all that stuff sent with it, it'll come with it and it'll be included in the first shipping charge. One thing I will say is if you use your credit card, this is a Canadian company and you will have to pay, I think it's a duty tax or something like that. I, there was another charge a couple days after I purchased the mill on my credit card and I couldn't figure out what it was and I called my bank, tried to figure out what it was, and that's because this is a Canadian company and you have to pay a tax on international credit card purchases. So, there's where we're at with that. So, uh, let's get on with this. Let's just set this off to the side. All right, folks. First time ever seeing. I've seen all kinds of videos on YouTube. Seems to be a, a, a booming company right now. A lot of people buying these mills. The, I've heard the customer service is absolutely outstanding. I can't wait to get a look at it. The package. Wow, look at the crating. That looks like a project in itself. We can cut that up and make something out of that. It's like it looks like a eighth inch. Eighth inch uh, angle iron that's built with.
Yeah, we'll be making something with that. Recycle that. All right, come around. Wow, this is exciting, folks. This is exciting. Um, a lot of bits and pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox some of this stuff. What I wanna do is lay everything out and make sure I didn't get shorted anything because uh, people are human and people pa pack these boxes. So we wanna make sure nothing got left out. This is the electric uh, start model, 14 horsepower Kohler engine. So here's, this is what I'm really after. So the, the, the uh, operator's manual, manual comes in this little tube. See what we got in here. So here's, oh, $100 military and veteran discount. I didn't know about that. Huh. That would have paid for my duty tax. All right, so this looks like the Kohler manual. We're gonna bring all this stuff inside so we can study it and look at it. Well, uh, I did I did see some fellas get safety glasses and uh, gloves. Maybe they're in a different box. So back to you folks and uh, we're just gonna start moving some boxes around maybe bring them inside and uh, I want to make sure I have everything I'm definitely gonna have to move the mill down there a little bit but I'm thinking all the boxes that we can handle we can get them down there so there is some parts like the feet and that sort of thing that need to be put together ahead of time and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do that if I can. So. All right, we'll get back to you. So, okay, folks, so we got all these little boxes out of here. I presume these two uh, big long boxes on the bottom are track pieces. You got first item I can just show up. This is an electric start model and uh, I kind of like that idea because um, if I wanted to put some like 12 volt lights on it too I could do that and uh, saw after dark of course you know in the winter time you're you're driving to work in the dark and you're coming home to work in the dark so uh, lights might be a good benefit. So it comes with a little battery box the cables for the batteries and uh, fastening bits to hold it to the chassis, tie down strap. As far as I can see, folks, this, this is a quality made mill. And, uh, albeit, it, some of the parts, pieces may be assembled in a different country or whatever. Still. I mean, we're talking rugged pieces here. Square tubing. Yeah, yeah, extremely satisfied so far. So, there's the battery box. Another little box of bits. A 
Looky there. Hour meter. For the engine. On uh, little rollers. Box of bolts. I'm going to put this in a safe place. You see with the white blanket on the ground, we're going to have to take care of things so we don't lose stuff. So, um, I'm actually going to put these inside so I can keep track of them. <clears throat> okay folks, we brought some of the boxes inside. So I don't want to lose anything out here in that snow. So. So this looks like the back of the mill. Uh, the dash or push plate or I'm not sure what it is. And, well that's that's like a quarter inch piece of steel folks. Quarter inch piece of steel. That's rugged. Looks like it's powder coated. Yeah, that's quality stuff. What's this next one? That's one of the bunks. Wow, there's some goodies in here. Uh, that looks like the marker, so you can, uh, it goes to the ruler. Looks like something, some sort of pointer. So I'm glad I'm doing this in, inside. I can lay things out so I can see them. Measuring stick, magnetic measuring sticks. I've seen many of the Woodland Mills videos before I purchased this mill, so that's cool. Make sure I'm not throwing nothing away here. That's our, our uh, lubrication tank. Look at that. Boy, they, these, these people are really stepping up to the plate. That looks like, that looks like it's MIG welded. That looks like maybe it's TIG welded. Wow, look at this. Nice, nice company logo, and that's this is all either laser cut or uh, plasma cut or something. And uh, yeah, they took some time. They didn't throw this thing together.
Oh, there's my gloves. A pair of gloves. Oh, yeah. I'll be using them up. Nice pair of leather gloves. A pair of safety glasses. Hearing protection. This is the, uh, I think it's a lead screw to, that raises and lowers the, the carriage. Wow, that's hefty. I am quite impressed, folks. That looks like 3 8 steel. Yeah, impressed. Not sure where that goes, but we will definitely find out. Okay. I am impressed, folks. This thing is made out of heavy duty steel. These look quarter inch. Everything's like hand tight so you can assemble. Yeah. Quite impressed, folks. I am quite impressed. Okay. All right, folks. My initial unboxing of this thing, I am absolutely impressed. I am impressed with the packaging. I am impressed with the way this thing is built. Uh, the time they took to assemble the packaging and uh, it's all powder coated. Uh, the whole thing is powder, it looks like it's powder coated. Uh, very, very meticulous uh, in everything they've done here. Yeah, and it doesn't look like there was any, any real damage. To anything in shipping nothing at all the box just had a couple dents in it that was um, minuscule so the shipper did a great job Woodland Mills did a great job I, I cannot wait I am so excited to get this thing set up I cannot wait uh, completely impressed uh, excited I'm excited this to say the least so I'm going to be studying the manual, having a look at everything. Still some more boxes in the bottom to be opened up. Uh, okay folks, this is a game changer for Northwind Garage. Uh, with, with a tiny house project, just about every project I can think of that we're involved in. Um, 
it's, it's going to benefit us to be able to build uh, buildings and uh, all buildings and things and uh, cottages and whatever we can get our hands on. Um, it's just a game changer uh, to be able to another tool in our toolbox to be able to accomplish our mission. So, uh, thanks for watching, folks. Please like, subscribe, uh, mash the bell for notifications whenever we put up a new video, folks. And uh, I try to put out a video every every week or so, at least one or two videos every week. But it's been so crazy busy. You see the white blanket fell. I've been falling a little bit behind, so bear with me, folks. Uh, better times are coming. So, peace out, Northwind Garage, and God bless you.